Since its launch in 2007, the Volkswagen Tiguan has sold over 2.8 million units. So you get some kind of an idea of just how important the launch of the brand new one is to Volkswagen. We're gonna to start to find out a little bit more about it by taking it somewhere you absolutely wouldn't take your car, off-road. Volkswagen offers an off-road package for the Tiguan that includes not just visual, but also practical features. Of course, while the Tiguan's not primarily intended for off-road use, it performs very respectably, thanks to its 20cm ground clearance and 25-degree front approach angle. These are very convincing features right from the start, especially when combined with the optional all-wheel drive, 4Motion. As the first VW SUV based on the modular transverse matrix, Volkswagen says that the Tiguan will set new standards in design, comfort and functionality. To get an idea of how all of this feels on the road, we've changed into a new clean Tiguan and we're now ready to drive off in the 2.0-litre diesel. The design language of the new Tiguan is really sharp and precise. The additional width at the front really emphasizes the front of the car, especially when combined with these nice ridges in the bonnet. From the side of the car, we have a character line that runs right the way from the front to the back. With the short overhangs at the front and the rear, and the high shoulder line, we have classic SUV styling. The character line runs right the way into the lights at the rear, which gives the Tiguan its new shape and feel from the back. The Tiguan includes ample safety and comfort features in its basic equipment. Add to this the special optional available equipment and you have pretty much everything you could ever wish for. Lots of emphasis has been placed on safety through appropriate assistance systems and entertainment through infotainment and networking systems. As known from higher vehicle classes, the Tiguan can also come with active info display, which allows the driver to customize their cockpit display. There is even an optional head-up display which can be fitted. The car overall has grown by 6 centimetres, but significantly the wheelbase has grown by 8, and that makes for a lot more room in the interior, especially in the back, where you have an additional 29 millimetres of knee room. The front hasn't been forgotten either. There are new optional Ergo Active seats, and they come with massage. The growth in length and width is also noticeable in the luggage compartment of the Tiguan. The boot has grown by 50 litres to 520 total. With the rear seats folded, you can fit a maximum of 1,655 litres into the back of the SUV. When you drive the new Tiguan, the first thing that comes to mind is comfort. We drove the car earlier on on an off-road course, and of course, lots of big holes, lots of rough ground, but surprisingly, still really comfortable to drive. And the same is absolutely true when you get the car on the open road. Our test car has a 150 horsepower 2-litre TDI engine with all-wheel drive and a DSG gearbox. It offers optimal conditions for both quiet cruising and sportier driving. But of course, there are many different drive options available. The engine range for the Tiguan includes four diesel and four petrol engines, producing from 115 to 240 horsepower. The all-wheel drive 4 motion is offered on six of the available engines, and the gearbox comes as either manual or dual-clutch automatic. The popularity of the Tiguan is more than enough reason to explain why Volkswagen will put so much effort into its redesign. Now we've had the chance to drive it for ourselves, we really can see why this car is so popular. The good news is that on top of all of the things that made this car so successful in the past, there's now so much more to love about it.